Hey guys, we haven't done this in a while. So here we are at a new yard. It's been here a while, but it's called Pasco You Pull It. So we're gonna go out here and check out, see what they have. I actually wanted to see if I could get some rims for my truck because I'm going to be putting a little bit of bigger rims on it for my Nissan. They said they didn't have any, but uh, we've never been here before. Three hours to come in. They have uh, the wheelbarrows, which is cool. So you can use wheelbarrows and stuff to get what you want. And they give you a map, which I've never seen before when I've gone to any junkyard. They've never given you a map, but this is Pasco Easy Pull It in Hudson, Florida on Route 19 and it's a Tuesday and they give you these vests to wear you have to wear a vest they give them to you though while you're here well, I mean I don't give them to you they let you borrow one so let's go see what's here so welcome to another episode of junkyards and barn finds with Sean and I'm Sean <laughs> And we'll do a walk around. I don't know, old stuff, new stuff. And we're gonna check it out. So first thing here, 88 Bronco. Somebody customized it. It's got a nice rope bar on the back. Set of wheels, no engine. Looks like somebody's dirt mobile, but looks like it still has springs on it. It's missing one door. It's got the whole gauge package. It was four wheel drive. So there's a Bronco. So we'll just they head down there and then we'll go all the way down there and check it out. So let's go up front parking lot would be there. So we'll just come down here and see what we find. So I haven't done a junkyard walk in a long time. Usually we'll start at the very far end where all the all this stuff is, but this is a relatively new yard, I think. I heard it's a new yard. Maybe it's an old yard that they just became a you pull it. But we'll walk around so I can see what they got. There's a nice Jag right there. X-Type. What do we got in here? Two thousand five A4. A little windy today, girl. So, another Jag right there. An Xterra. Okay, Nissan. Ooh, could use the top of that. V6 Kia, piece of plastic stuff. And what do we got? Old Volkswagen Bug Convertible. And what's next to it? Is that another bug? No, it's, uh, is that a Miata? Let's see. Uh, Toyota Spider. Okay. Toyota Spider. There we go. Huh. See, the thing is now is cars that I consider older cars are 60s and 70s, but, I mean, 1999 QX4... I mean, 1999, it's a 25 year old car. You could get classic truck plates for that thing now. All these SUVs, here's a Pathfinder 2004. So there may be parts on here that, like to me, older cars, you know, your 70s and 80s. But, uh, you know, here you got 1990s. Here's a. Nissan with a roof rack right here X another Xterra What year is this 2002? Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is Sean and you guys have watched four and a half million times 
our videos. We have over 755 videos up right now, and uh, we only have 20,000 subscribers. So if you love our channel, there's two ways, three ways you can really help. You can subscribe, you can like, and if you want any of our gear from t-shirts, from when we were on the Hot Rod Power Tour, to coffee mugs, stickers, hats, bags, baby onesies, everything, please watch what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go to my homepage, click here. Once you click on this, it takes you to our official JYBF store. You can go in, you can pick any of the different designs that we have, and we have a bunch, as you can see. And once you've picked the design that you want, you can put it on everything from a hat to a tote bag, to a gym bag, to a sweatshirt, to a hoodie, to baby diaper bags, to baby diapers, I think. I don't know, we have like literally hundreds of different items here in different colors. You choose the color, you choose whatever design you want. Pay for it, they ship it to you from the warehouse. You will get it right away. If there's any issues, you can return them if you have to. We take credit cards. Um, we've been shipping stuff around and I see you guys wearing it. So if you want to help us the channel, please go to the store and click on that, find something you like, and hopefully I'll see you somewhere. You know we're already all around the country. In fact, um, so the next time you're out and you see me, give me a yell. Um, and then I'll put you on the channel wearing some of our gear. Nice roof rack on it. There you go. I think this is the first smart car we've ever seen in a junkyard. Pretty cool. Let's see. You don't really ever see these things in a junkyard. They got all the numbers of every body part. Check it out. Everything's listed in. So if you take it off and you bring it in, they know exactly which car it came from. There's a mini. You need a mini wheel. Another Xterra. Man, there's a lot. I mean, for three rows here, that's our third Xterra. 2009. Let's see. There's a Hummer over there, an H H2, H3. Was it an H3? All right. Import row. Let's go down and see what we have. Another Xterra 2001. I think there's one of every year Xterra here already. Big Volvo. There you go. What is this? A 73? 1978. Bet you it's a diesel. Last on the road in 2003. There you go. Connecticut DMV. It's even got ski racks on it. Let's open it up. Well, there you go. It's got all its instrumentation and stuff. The doors are in pretty good shape. Huh. And what do you know? Another Xterra. That's another. What is this one? This is a... doesn't say here. What year? 83. 1983. 1983. Hey, look, it still has the book on there. And somebody's probably so proud of this car. Let's, get, uh, let's look at the book. Mercedes Benz. 02 of 82. Somebody has all the booklets out. If you need the booklets for this car for your classic Mercedes. They have them. Pretty cool. But that was somebody's pride and joy. That was a rich man's car in the early 80s. Let's see, what else do we have? Another old Mercedes. Man, somebody must have 
had a bunch of Mercedes and had them all towed or something because they all say tow pro again rusted out big time walk through here the stories they could tell we got a Volvo right there let's walk around here smashed Kia 1993 Cadillac Alante manager special right there oof well this one is yeah it looks like my truck but with different uh, wheels on it I need better wheels than that though Alright. Mini Cooper. Another on import row. Yeah, we'll start here at the imports. Usually we start at the American stuff, but come down here in the imports. This was a Suzuki or a, a Trebeca. Subaru. Sorry, Subaru Trebeca. Another Nissan Xterra, 2007. Another Mercedes, older Mercedes down there. Honda Pilot. Okay. A lot of engines right here. Check out. These are like diesel engines. These look like uh, big diesel engines here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at all these diesel engines right here. Pretty, pretty cool. A whole bunch of diesel engines. And there we have a whole bunch of rear ends. But these things all look like they came at the same together. Very cool. Like tractor trailer engines or something. Pretty neat. International. That's who they are. They're an international engine. So international diesel. Alright. So I think what we'll do is we'll continue going down these rows here and then we'll come back up the other side. So Sonata. I don't know how old they have in here. Here's a Beetle from 2000, so that's a 24-year-old Volkswagen right there. Here's an old, is this a Dodge? What is this? Mitsubishi pickup. Okay. Oh, wow. Check this out. An old, to an old Toyota Celica. Wow, dual overhead cam Toyota Celica. What's this? Yep, eight, our 82 Supra. That's an 82 Supra. Very, very cool. Look at that thing. Automatic. Wow. These things were the car to have in 1982. I remember some kids in school had these things. Really, really cool. Wow. Pretty neat. All right, let's keep looking. Here's 93 Nissan. These trucks would drive forever. Well, not that one, obviously, but most of them would. All right. I like this junkyard. Uh, I mean, look how everything's on concrete, so there's no mud, and it is pretty clean. Here's a Z3 BMW. Back off, please. This vehicle not for sale. Okay, well, it is now. All right, 99 BMW Z3. I remember when these came out in 93 and that they were debuted in the James Bond movie. And uh, it was a blue one before they ever came out. I was in college back then. So, Florida State. We went to see James Bond and hey, had the new BMW. Uh, what else we got down here? Another Volkswagen Beetle 2003. And we'll walk down here. 
cut through over here. Looks like a Land Rover. Yep, Land Rover. 2001 Land Rover Discovery. So, from what I've been told, some of the storage here came from police impound. So, maybe this was an impound lot that they somebody started buying the cars. I'm not really sure. But, wow, that's a really nice wheel. That's a Matrix, but that's a nice tire, actually. Is it? No, it's not. This side's all torn up. Yeah, I thought it was nice. Okay. Continuing on. Acura. <clears throat> okay. Row 22 imports. Row 23 imports. Oh, there we go. Check this out. An old Volkswagen Rabbit. That's pretty cool, guys. A Volkswagen Rabbit. Man, I haven't seen one of these since, like, high school. If you watched uh, Clueless, the movie, if you're old enough to remember Clueless, the girls drove around in this. 19, well, I don't think it was 1980 Rabbit. It was probably a newer one. But check this thing out. Look how tiny those tires are. It's rusty. Pretty neat little car. My cousin Bruce had one of these in high school, I think. And it was blue. A little blue one. I never was into Volkswagens, but... Man, all the girls drove these when I was in high school. What's that? 19... 2015. Last time this was on the road. 2015. Still has the top, everything. Huh. Pretty cool. That would be a neat one, neat build. Somebody wanted to get something and build something with it. I don't know. Put like a 454 with a blower in the front or something. If you have those kind of skills. Volkswagen. Or I'm sorry. What's this? A 300 TE Mercedes. Same thing. Joe Isuzu. Anybody remember? Put down in the comments if you remember Joe Isuzu. Who used to sell all these Isuzus. Joe Isuzu. If you remember that. Then you're my age and you probably remember, wow, what is that? Okay, that is a big ditch. Let's see. Burned car. I think it's burned up. Keep going. Oh, this is a lot deeper than I thought. Look how far back it goes. All right. So I've never been here, so I don't know what to expect. This is imports. I guess domestic cars are way back there, so this is just the imports. I was trying to figure out how long or how far the imports went, because it seemed like they were all going to be imports. And row 31, imports. Let's see. Isuzu Trooper, Joey Isuzu, 2002. All right, so we're gonna walk. I'm gonna walk way down there. So I'll meet you down there in a minute or two. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 